Welcome to your daily devotional reading from the book My Life Today. Month of November, a victorious life. November 19th, Jeremiah's Declaration of Thanksgiving. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Lamentations 3 verses 22 and 23. The faithful prophet was daily strengthened to endure. The Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one, he declared in faith. Therefore my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. Sing unto the Lord, praise ye the Lord, for he hath delivered the soul of the poor from the hand of the evil doers. The experiences through which Jeremiah passed in the days of his youth and also in the later years of his ministry taught him the lesson that the way of man is not in himself, it is not in men that walketh to direct his steps. He learned to pray, O Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. When called to drink of the cup of tribulation and sorrow, and when tempted in his misery to say, My strength and my hope is perished from the Lord, he recalled the providences of God in his behalf, and triumphantly exclaimed, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Many professed Christians dwell too much on the dark side of life when they might rejoice in the sunshine, they repine when they should be glad, they talk of trials when they should offer praise for the rich blessings they enjoy. They look at the unpleasant things, hoard up the disappointments, and sigh over the griefs, and, as a consequence, grow heavy-hearted and sad when, should they count up the blessings, they would find them so numerous that they would forget to mention their annoyances. If they would every day take note of the favors that are done them, if they would store their minds with the precious memory of kindnesses received, how much occasion they would find to render thanks and praise to the giver of all good. A Victorious Life, November 19th